doesn't really face that way. At any rate, the yellow is going to be the wheat, so what that side is going to lead to uh, the automatic crafting table. Alright. That we don't have set up yet. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. That's what I thought. He put it in the wrong spot, but it's no big deal. It, that's pretty much how you work the diamond. You just put whatever item you want to filter through that side, and it goes in there. Pretty cool. And if I'm not mistaken, any pipe that you destroy, you do get back. Right, Sean? Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, we're going to finish out some things, and then when he gets the automatic crafting table, I will show you that. So it'll only be a second. And then I fall and take down. All right, guys. Uh, well, he figures out the uh, engine thing really quick. I'm going to uh, explain the automatic crafting table. It's pretty cool. Um, you just put in whatever recipe you want the table to create. So as an example here, you just put in a pickaxe, and then like that's it, <clears throat> um, and it stays there. So as you put in items that go through the pipe in there, like say you put in, you know, you have to put in the sticks and the cobblestone, and it just automatically creates said item. And then you have to use a wooden uh, pipe because it is the wooden pipe acts as an extractor, so it extracts the item from the crafting table and it puts it into said chest. Now obviously we're going to use wheat but we don't have any yet because it's still not farmed up and Seraphis made a mistake and accidentally uh, re-farmed the uh, farm without it being fully grown. So he screwed that up but no big deal. It's just going to take a little bit to get that and yeah I think that is pretty much it. It has to be powered by the steam engine which we're setting up here. And the steam engines have to also be powered by a fuel source. If you click on it here, um, you have to put coal or you can put uh, wood in there as well. Or charcoal works too. Uh, any fuel source, I suppose, will work. And you also need to have it uh, a redstone torch as well to like turn it on. So the fuel and then the redstone torch to turn it on. And then it powers up the wooden pipe. So, yeah. All right, guys. And the gold pipe needs to be powered by a redstone torch. And I'm going to kind of show you how this is going to work with some meat here. So you throw it in the little doohicker. Oh, my gosh. Just go the way. And there it goes into the obsidian pipe and then see how fast it shoots it down so a nice little luxury and then it goes down into one of the chat oh my god fucking creeper what in the shit is it doing here oh god why well, hit it twice I die. there we go all right apologize about the skeleton freaking out what you can't shoot the skelly dude i have one out a lot you slacker all right Anyway, now that the mobs are taken care of, um, pretty cool. All right, my meat went one of these. I don't know which one, but at any rate, we're almost done. I think that is about it. I think we're just gonna sit here and wait for the wheat to grow, and then we will do a full-on demonstration of everything. And yeah, so incoming some. And effing epicness, finally, after this probably long video, and I apologize. But it'll be well worth it. Alright, and to make the bread, it's three wheats right in a row. Anywhere, you can put it on the bottom. Bread or up on top. Bread, yay! So that has to go on the automatic crafting table here, so that way it will uh, go ahead and craft it up. And we pretty sure we have our steam engine fueled. Yep, wood, coal. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we are ready to do this thing. Let me just get up there so we can see. We're trying to get up here. This thing is crazy as heck. Really? Max, go fuck poke a hole in the wall. It's a short time. Trying to do efficiency here. All right, got a view of what is going to happen. So, Sean, 
We are ready when you are. And here you go. The automatic farm. In three. <laughs> <laughs> One. In three, go. All goes in. You can turn it off. Or you, can, the water. or you can just look at the water. And where is... And there it goes, all in the pipe. And the reason I wanted the entrance in the back is so we can quickly go in behind and see it. So I'm going to knock out our feet. Hey. Okay. And I think all the seeds are already in here. Yeah, 55 seeds. They automatically go in there. So this is the chest that we're going to use to replant everything. And... Oh, wait. Got to turn on the engine. There it goes. There is one bread. And voila. So... The reason why we do this and so you don't have to run around outside and find a bunch of pigs and cows to mutilate you now have all the food you would want with the flip of two switches it's a lot of work but come on it's pretty epic you gotta admit i mean let's see that full thing got us 11 things of bread and 55 more seeds i have four on me here you go so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, our video here. Uh, it was a, it was Zerifus design. He didn't steal us from anybody. He uh, is he blew my mind with it. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, we were also oh. thinking Excellent. as he's talking. Um, if you really wanted to be fancy and like make this just absolutely insane, um, you can also add on another level, having it two up and using the same exact design, and just have the water flow from one to the other, like in the middle, so all the wheat goes down into one. If you really want to get like super crazy, you can do that too, we were thinking, and it would literally be like a farm tower almost. Uh, we were trying to find a way to make it where auto plants. There is a, a machine in Billcraft called the Filler, I think it was. But we tested it in creative mode, and it actually only works with blocks and saplings. It does not automatically put in the seeds. So it's kind of annoying that every time you want to redo it, you have to go through and replant them. But to be honest, I think it's well worth it, because it's better than having to run around and kill bunch of pigs and stuff especially in our area we don't find too many of them so yeah and food is ever more important in the new minecraft compared to what it used to be <laughs> yeah our signs are like broke we had it saying harvest on there but whatever so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed the video uh we are still going to continue to put out more cool vids uh, with more build craft, more industrial craft, there's so much you can do. And like I said, since we do this all, you know, by harvesting crap on our own and building all on our own and testing it out, it does take a little bit for us to come out with some stuff. So, you know, uh, easiest ways to uh, just subscribe to the channel and get the uh, videos up first and get to look at them. And yeah, go ahead and comment on uh, the video what you liked, didn't like, if it was way too long, way too boring, if I was little too thorough i don't know i know i like to be explaining things sometimes if i'm a complete noob because it's just easier for me i don't know um so just let me know and uh, we'll see you guys next time thanks a lot for watching